Thank you very much, Mike. I, uh, when I came into politics, I, um, I searched for platforms to use. I looked at different platforms, went to make consultations in different political parties. Number one, in Nigeria, election is so very expensive. Uh, you can't just say you want to move to any platform, uh, except you have been there for a very long time. Aside you've been there for a very long time, also you have to be uh, financially stable. And that is, that. Uh, and as a young as a young man, uh, I'm not financially there. So I just have to look for a platform that will cohabit me, a platform that will give me room to run. Now let's talk a little more about your constituency. Yeah? Um, what are you planning to do, especially as a young 25 year old? Uh, what are you planning to do for your constituency if you are elected into public office? My plans for my constituency is, I have three major bills I want to raise in the house. The first one, I tell people, uh, about food security, because Nigeria here, uh, we are known to we are known to uh, to be farmers, especially in my constituency. And uh, but there have been setbacks, setbacks in the way that government has not been encouraging farmers. And also uh, in my constituency, I can tell you, Mike, that there is no tertiary institution in my constituency. And uh, part of the motion I'll be moving in the house is I want to raise a bill that already existed. Uh, tertiary institution in your states. I want there should be a satellite campus in my constituency. And the third one is about uh, security. Uh, in Nigeria, yeah, we have problem with farmers and uh, 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 those cattle uh, rearers uh, because that's that's been major problem in Nigeria, especially in my constituency. Uh, how we can uh, have our own local securities to defend our people, especially in the in the rural aspects where we have farmers. Uh, the, uh, the farms and uh, the, their lives are not secured with all these uh, ex men. So I, I'll be moving. I'll be moving motions in the house that will that will bring about local securities to defend our people. Now tell me something, Benjamin. Um, youth participation in politics is something that seems to be uh called for in Africa. Yeah. Uh, with Nigerian elections coming up. What words would you have to your peers in terms of participation, in terms of having them not just only vote, but run for public office? There are a lot of discouragement everywhere. People will tell you, you cannot do it. Go and sit down. You don't have the money. You don't have the capacity. But I've, I've stood my ground to say, I want to make a difference, regardless of either uh, I'm financially there or not. I've concentrated my time in uh, voters' awareness. I've concentrated my time in... Uh, going into grassroots, going into uh, 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 the inner part of my constituency to start educating them on why they shouldn't sell their votes, why they shouldn't, why they must participate, why they must vote their conscience, why they must vote, please and please do not sell your votes. Your vote is your power. Uh, stand up to take back your country. Let us rise up together. We can make this positive change together. And I believe that together we can. Benjamin, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us. We really appreciate you. I appreciate you. you. I and appreciate best of luck uh, in the February 25 elections, my brother. We'll be watching. Thank you very much, Mike. I really appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me over.